Living Language. สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone and welcome to Living Language with me สุวรรณาเข็มแดง from Faculty of Liberal Arts ราชมงคล University of Technology พระนคร This program is brought to you by RMUTP English Online You can listen to our program at EnglishOnline.RMUTP.AC.TH Facebook page and YouTube channel RMUTP Live In t r e n d y w o r d s today, we are going to talk about time flies and fruit flies, and follow by language learning tips and news from the university. Stay tuned. Trendy words. Words today, I'm going to talk about the term time flies and fruit flies. As an EFL that stands for English as a foreign language learner myself, I wonder what's the weirdest sentence in the English language. There are many long or funny words in vocabulary which can sound strange. I can learn and find that they can form the weirdest sentences because of English grammar. The English language can be focusing and complex at times because the meaning of sentences can depend on the comma, function words, words uh, emphasis, and homophones. I will show you some funniest and craziest, also weirdest sentences of the English language. First, let's look at this sentence. It says, "Let's eat, grandma." A short sentence. Let's eat, grandma. No comma or punctuation at all. With this, grandma is going to be eaten. How about if we put a comma after the word eat, and it says, "Let's eat, grandma." With a punctuation after the word eat means grandma is invited to eat. So punctuation saves lives. Now let's look at these sentences with the word fly. F L Y. Time flies like an arrow, but fruit flies like a banana. Did you hear the word flies? This sentence starts just fly, and by the end turns into one of those crazy English sentences that make sense. When you first read this phrase, you may wonder how a fruit. May fly like a banana, and why would it? Only the second reading we can see that small insects called fruit flies like eating a banana. So the final question is: Are there any insects called time flies, which enjoy arrows? No, no, not at all. And that's the language twisting sentences. Time flies like an arrow. That means the time goes very fl- very fast. But fruit flies like a banana. This sentence is talking about an insect that is called fruit flies. When we put these two sentences together, it may sound funny. So we need to think.
Language Learning Tips Welcome back to Living Language. In language learning tips today, I'm going to talk about English intonation. As a lifelong English learner, one thing I need to practice a lot is the intonation of English because my first language is Thai and um, we don't use intonation that much. In English, intonation describes how the voice rises and falls in speech. The three main patterns of intonation in English are falling intonation, rising intonation, and fall rise intonation. The first one, falling intonation. Falling intonation describes how the voice falls on the final stress syllable of a phrase or a group of words. A falling intonation is very common in the bridge questions. For example, where is the nearest supermarket? What time does the class finish? The falling intonation are at the end of the sentences. And is also used when saying something definite or when we want to be very clear about something. I think we are completely lost. This sentence means that we very clear about getting lost. So I think we are completely lost. And in the sentence, okay, here's the newspaper you wanted. This is to make it sound definite. By the way, the British questions are questions start with um, the WH, for example, what, when, where, why, and how. Now we look at rising intonation. Rising intonation describes how the voice rises at the end of a sentence. Rising intonation is common in yes-no questions. For example, is that a new doctor? Are you hungry? These two sentences show the rising intonation. For the four rise intonation, this Intonation describes how the voice falls and then rises. The four rise intonation is used at the end of statement when you want to say that you are not sure or when you may have more to add. For example, she may say yes, but don't count on it. She may change her mind in future. Or in the sentence, it rained every day in the first week but things improve after that. That's true, but it's not always the case. Or in the sentence, I can help, but only if it's in the morning. This means we are not sure about the thing we are talking or uh, we want to change later or we want to add something. So the four rise intonation can be used with questions, especially when we request information or invite somebody to do or to have something. The intonation pattern makes the question sound more polite. For example, would you like another coffee? Can you please help me? Well, it sounds, I think for native speakers, they don't uh, care much or they don't even notice about the intonation that in each sentence is um, a fall or rise or fall rise intonation. They just speak naturally. But for us who are learning English, sometimes we have to this, uh, we have to analyze and practice. For me, the easy way to practice intonation is to look at how to say yes in informal conversation. Let's listen to uh, how we say yes this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is the informal form of yes. So, yeah, or uh, yeah, and yeah, or yeah, all three times in the same words, but the intonation communic communicate a different meanings. Yeah, falling intonation shows the certain. Yeah, rise for also showing the certain. Yeah, 
for rights showing uncertain or not sure. So English intonation is one thing we can enjoy practice. Coming up next, RMUGP news. RMUTP News You are listening to Living Language with me Suwanna and now we are at RMUTP News section The news today is about the employment rate of RMUTP new graduates. Rajmongkon Pranakorn announced that up to 95% of RMUTP graduates in the year 2021 were employed. The highest employment rate is business English major graduates of Faculty of Business Administration. Dr. Nadwarapon Ratchasiri Vacharabun, President of Rajmongkon University of Technology, Pranakorn, said that in the academic year 2021, there are 3,052 graduates and 84% of this number were employed. The highest employment rate is 87% of the graduate of Faculty of Business Administration. In this number, 95% of business English major were employed. Dr. Nadwarapon said that is a satisfying rate. The employment rate confirms that Rajmongkon Pranakorn, a professional and technological higher education institution, is on the right track in producing graduates to fulfill the needs of the country and will continuously develop the curriculum to produce high quality and skilled manpower for all occupations under the new vision. Rajmongkon Pranakorn, University of Technology, Innovation and Integration. The next news is about the recent activity of the university. Rajmongkon Pranakorn demonstrated the academic work together with Dusit District. Rajmongkon Pranakorn and Dusit District by Dusit District Cultural Council, Ministry of Culture, 
organize an event to continue Thai Songkran traditions during Songkran Festival 2023 from the 13th to 15th of April 2023 at Klong Padung Krung Kasem. Rajamongkorn Pranakorn brought the outcome of the research studies called U2T or University to Tambon that aim to bring the academic study results to promote local economics. Songkran Festival under U2T of Rajamongkorn Pranakorn consisted of the demonstrations of academic works and sell products of all nine faculties of RMUTP. The cooperation of U2T projects of Rajamongkorn Pranakorn and Rusit District was successfully completed. Well, that's all we have time for today, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will meet you again same time next week. Please subscribe to our channel on Facebook, YouTube and online RMUTP Live and all the programs can be accessed online at englishonline.rmutp.ac.th Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. สวัสดีค่ะ -bye. Living Language 